Hi and welcome to Delicious Gardens and another gardening tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the globe artichokes. We've got two varieties here in our garden. One is the purple globe and the other one here is the imperial star. Imperial star is slightly bigger on its first year but has these very nasty spines on it, both spines on the leaves and on the flower. Whereas the normal purple globe, nice and soft with no points on it. Um, you want to be really careful when moving around an artichoke because the spikes on the ends of all the leaves are really pointy and sharp. Artichokes like a really well sheltered spot so they're out of the wind. Um, they like a good free draining soil with plenty of sun. This is late October so they're coming into flower. If you let them flower they're a beautiful flower but we're interested in eating them. This one here we're going to cut today, it's probably gone a little bit too far. You want to catch it when it's nice and solid like this one just here. Um, again, be really careful when you prune it. You want to have a pot of water on the boil ready to go and sit them in the water for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want the petals of the flower to be nice and soft. So this is the main flower of the artichoke and very easy to cut. Again, be very careful of the spikes. This is what we're going to be eating. Okay, and they're going to keep coming on. As you can see, there, there's a nice little one here and there's another little one here. You can keep boiling them up. These, I think, are the best. You get the most out of them. Artichokes will keep coming up year to year and they're a really good way to fill a space in a nice little herb garden like we've got here. And they can be quite attractive. So let's go inside and see how it looks when we're eating it. So here we are. Um, our Imperial Globe Artichoke has been on the boil for about 20 minutes. Leave it for a bit longer if you want to leave it for a bit longer, not a big problem. So we're going to eat the petals of the artichoke flower. Now, commercially, they would just harvest the heart. Okay, but for us, because we're home gardeners, we're going to enjoy the whole plant and uh, let's see how we go. So first couple of petals, just peel them away. Just peel them away. And the bit that we're interested in is that little bit. No, there's a bit of muck there, so we'll just clean that out. The bit we're interested in is that little bit of the petal just there. Now, salted butter obviously makes almost anything taste good, but you just want to get your teeth on a little leg like that and peel that away. The further you get into the flower, the better the flesh is on the, pe on the petal of the leaf. So a little bit of a dip. Mmm, really good. So, I'll keep peeling these back, eating them, and then we'll have a look at the heart. So, back again. Here we are, we've eaten through all our lovely um, artichoke petals of our, what would be flower, and we're left with the heart. So, you don't want to get yourself caught out here. So, if you get to this bit, great. And then, these are all the bits that are come out, going to come out in the flower. And you want to get rid of this so as you're not eating it. So, sorry, I'll just give that a bit more of a... Get that, all that stuff out, and it should come out in one nice big chunk. Put it over the side there, you can see that. Here you are, left with your nice artichoke heart. Again, this is what's gonna be sold to you commercially, is what you buy in the jars. Tastes really good. Get a little knife, slice it up. This one's so soft, because we left it in for a nice long time, you're left with these nice chunky bits of artichoke and dip it in the butter. Mm, that's really good.